Hey everybody, hope you're having a safe and happy 4th of July weekend here in the States. You know, Independence Day is coming up here on Wednesday. So I thought I would finally get around to making this unboxing video of the new Leo high grade after colony. This is a retooling of the original Leo kit from Gundam Wing under the Gunpla Evolution Project. Now I didn't know a lot about this. Uh, one of my subscribers, Rusted Beetle, thank you sir for pointing out a link and getting me a little bit more information basically what this is like I said it's a retooling of the Leo kit from Gundam Wing um, just it's supposed to be better okay now those of you who are old enough to remember when Gundam Wing was first airing on Cartoon Network way back when like myself um, the kits that came out quite honestly were horrible um, you would have major gaps like right here any anything that got put together in two pieces especially the legs and the arms there were always huge gaps and the arm connection points were just horrible plus there wasn't a lot of articulation so this new kit is supposed to solve all that um, and it's very reasonably priced this was a uh, 1399 at my local comic shop um, let me take off the cellophane real quick and we'll read everything that's on the side because uh, I didn't want to open this up until I did the unboxing video there we go and we'll throw that in the trash all right so we'll look at I guess the bottom side um, basically just give some details this only comes with the 105 millimeter uh, rifle two beam savers and a shield arm has a little bit of articulation as you can see there um, this just gives you some evolution point is what it's saying here Fine build, maintain both an easy assembly and high quality. Uh, the image, the images are of an unpainted product. Enjoy color division faithful to the setting, with only the original parts color. So basically, it's saying that right out the box is supposed to be the original colors. No need to paint it. Interesting. Most of them are supposed to be that way. I'm probably going to repaint it um image for illustration purpose only the new joint structure allows both an easy assembly and wide range of articulation i hope so now this is an interesting joint here um have not seen that joint yet in any of the kits that i have now this is something i'm really interested in basically uh what it says here parts for each of the sections are on separate runners so you've got a right arm the body the left arm right leg left leg everything is separated so you're not gonna have to go through sprue after sprue after sprue to make one part like you know one arm you'd have to go through sometimes two or three sprues to do it everything is together I like that I really do like that it does make it a lot easier and also for anybody who's getting into gunpla for the first time this this is an idea this will probably be an ideal kit because everything's right in one place um, so side art not much there over here, it just says the Oz 06 MS Leo is an MS developed using data from the Oz OOMS Talgies or 00 MS Talgies rather. It is still used in the front line, having high productivity and versatility. And of course, all the stuff that I can't read because I don't speak Japanese and I can't read Japanese. So, I'll go ahead and open this up. Let's take a look. Alright, so, okay, which one, which runner is this? So we have the two beam sabers here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up because I'm probably going to build this. Um, like I said, I will be repainting it. is it actually going to okay so your beam sabers the pink clear parts put that there so this is supposed to be just referencing the box again okay I see what they did here okay so the runners aren't separate so here's right leg everything right there left leg right here arm arm body is I guess it's right here all this right here more arms here we go sorry about that 
So right off the bat, the detailing is a lot better than it was on the original kit, as far as I can remember. Because I was one of those guys who bought a crap ton of uh, Wing Gundam kits when they were available in Toys R Us. Remember when Toys R Us had the Gundam Corner? And they were super cheap. And as a matter of fact, Big Lots also had tons of kits for some reason. I don't know why, but I got a crap ton of kits from there way back in the day. Let's open up bag number two. Alright, so interesting polycaps. This is, these are all the polycaps you get. One, two, three, four, five, six polycaps. Um, thankfully, I have a ton more. Looks like your standard one. I have a ton more of these saved up. So here's your weapon. Right here, there's that gun. Connection points, connection points. I believe this is for the feet. I think I want to say this is for the feet. This is the side of the the head. Backpack thrusters over here. Um, I believe that's for the face plate. Uh, I'll probably have to paint behind it with my Molotov Crow. I cannot. I cannot recommend this paint pen enough. The Liquid Chrome by Molotov, well worth it. Spend the eleven bucks. It'll make this thing really shine when a light hits it. All right, so that's that screw, and this one. So again, there we go. Looks like these are more feet detail shoulders. I want to assume these are the shoulders right here. Hand and other pieces. All right, so you actually got three runners, three screws. Assembly instructions. These are becoming more common in newer kits. Just basic safety stuff and how to fit parts. Um, it's it's nice addition. Uh, don't get me wrong. It is a nice addition. Then it's got something how to apply water decals. Um, I did not see any decals in this kit. I don't believe there are any. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, other side is blank. So let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions. Look at the back. Back always has some good information on here. 105 millimeter rifle, beam saber, all that good stuff. Uh, some information. If you've never seen Gundam Wing, there's some information. And of course, the color guide. Um, the nice thing is nowadays the color guides. I mean, while they're great and they tell you how to mix them, um, if you are a miniature war gamer, you can pretty much find these paints very very easily already mixed in these colors um gray obviously gray is there um this green is i can't remember what it is what color it is it's like a camouflage green there's also one by vallejo um not goblin green i can't remember what it is the red is a little bit different because it's not quite red it's kind of weird and this looks like an olive draft green so there you go. And whatever this is, it's only valid in Japan. If anybody knows what these things are for, please let me know. I'd love to know. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. How many folds does this have? Okay. So once again, there's the layout. Of all the sprues what each sprue does again this is a nice touch by bandai hats off to you bandai for doing this um i'm sure a lot of people will appreciate it i know i appreciate it even though i'm a veteran builder of gunpla this this is actually a great idea i hope this is incorporated in future kits i really do this style and of course showing you all the parts as far as what parts are not used i am not seeing any x's on anything so I guess you're using everything in this kit. All right. So again, the basic stuff, if you build Gunpla, you know, this is the usual stuff they put on there. Telling you what parts to go where. Hmm. So everything is not in one place, obviously. Because you are going to have to go over A, B, C, and, of course, the polycaps. Not bad. I mean, 
you know, it, it, it is what it is, I guess. So, again, instructions real quick. But, I mean, it is nice that they're showing you, you know, exactly where on the runner these pieces are going to be. You know, if you're used to building Gunplut, you know, you're kind of used to going through different parts. But this does make it a little bit easier for everybody. Because everything is right there. And here we go. This one, page two. Build two sets. This is, of course, for the arms. There we go. Arms and the head. Head is obviously very easy. But yeah, I think I'm going to... Whoops, sorry. I think I'm going to go ahead and repaint this one. Um, I might do a log on it, a video log. I doubt it. Because, again, I don't have the equipment to really cut and splice video to make a short. And that's about it. So, yeah. This is the new tooling of the Oz Leo from Gundam Wing, Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. Um, I do have a couple of the 1 100th scale kits. Uh, well, I shouldn't say a couple. I've got a Serpent Custom and Heavy Arms Custom from Endless Waltz. Love the Serpent Custom, personally. But that's about it. Um, I do have a new Gundam from Build Divers, the GM, GM3, which looks pretty cool, but that is definitely going to get repainted because I want it to be like a flaming orange. Um, question for everybody, some of my more experienced builders. So you know with window canopies, you can use um, Pledge Future or whatever it's called now. Um, I just picked it up. I can't find it offhand to know what it is. But I'm wondering, can you use Future on the beam savers? And if so, what effect does it have? Does it make it like super ultra glossy or... And, you know, also make it look thinner like it does with uh, uh, starships and fighter canopies. Just thought. All right, guys, let me know. Have a safe and happy 4th of July weekend for those of you in the States. And everybody else, you know, have a safe and happy weekend. Hope everything goes well. Happy gaming. Good modeling. I will talk to you guys later. And don't forget about the giveaway. I only need 54 more subscriptions to the channel. And I will be doing the giveaway. Alright guys, have a good one. Take it easy.